Hey guys, Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional, and we've been talking this week about living a victorious life, and we're taking all the passages out of Galatians chapter 5. I hope you're getting something out of this study. But we found out on Monday that we can stand fast in the liberty uh, by which Christ has made us free, as long as we don't entangle ourselves with the, the things of this world. Um, and then we found out on Tuesday that we're to walk in the Spirit. On Wednesday, we found out that we're to be led by the Spirit. On uh, Thursday, we found out, yesterday, we found out that we need to crucify our flesh. Remember, I've been crucified with Christ. So the deeds of the flesh are not uh, part of my life anymore because I put on Christ and I let his life to be lived out through me. And it gives me victory, praise God. Gives me freedom, hallelujah. Today I want to talk to you about uh, the, to, that we, how we are to demonstrate the fruit of the Spirit in our daily life. Look with me at Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. It says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Now, this is the fruit of the Spirit. Yesterday we talked about the deeds of the flesh. And again, if, if I've been crucified with Christ, a, a dead man can't sin. It in order for me to sin, then I have to resurrect the dead man. Why would I want to do that? I want to put on the new man, which is Jesus Christ, and allow his life to be lived out through me. When I do that, and I operate according to the Spirit, then the fruit of the Spirit is manifested in my life. People will see the fruit of the Spirit. And again, it's love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So when people see those that fruit, which is all of those things, love, joy, and peace, and so forth, in your life, they see the fruit, not your fruit, but the fruit of the Spirit. That means that he is living his life out through you, so therefore they see that fruit. Psalm chapter 1, Psalm chapter 1, starting with verse 1, says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the paths of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Law there really means his word. We meditate in his word day and night. He, that man who does that, shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. There's the victorious life that we're talking about. See, the man that does not uh, walk in the counsel of the ungodly or stand in the paths of sinners and all those that I just read there, see, he's the one that gets in the word and delights himself in the word of God. Amen. And then his fruit... See what it says? He's like a tree planted by rivers of living water that brings forth his fruit in the season. Other people see the fruit of the spirit that's on us, which is again, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. See, those things should be manifested in our life because we are those people that um, are, are like a tree planted by the rivers. Now, when it talks about the rivers there, if you look in Jeremiah, I think it's 26.2, it says, My people have forsaken me, the living water. So God refers to himself as living water. Well, if you notice, it says that the tree is planted by the rivers of water. I believe that that's saying that we're planted by that place where the river of God flows. And, and I can show you many scriptures about this. Well, if you think about this, you and I, we're made out of dust. It's called humus. Now, humanity comes out of that same name. So here's this dirt. And this tree is planted in the dirt. Now, if the dirt is dry, if the humanity is dry, then the tree doesn't bear very good fruit. But if the, if the dirt is moist and wet, then the fruit is healthy. And where does that moisture and that wetness come from? It comes from the water of the, uh, of the river. See, it's really speaking of God's presence. And our roots go down into our humanity, down in, 
or, or, or is, is surrounded by that humanity. And if we saturate our humanity, our humus, with the presence of God, then our tree is strong and our fruit is good. Hallelujah. Hey guys, I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.